In this video, we will look at three examples of determining the probability that a randomly selected data value from a normal distribution is in a given interval. We'll be determining the probabilities using a table that gives the probability left of a z-score. So again, the set of data is normally distributed, the mean is 78, and the standard deviation is 6. We're asked to find the following probabilities, and I've already modeled the distribution shown below, where again the mean is 78, and the standard deviation is 6. Because we're using a table that uses z-scores, the first step is to find the corresponding z-scores for the data values of 70, 75, and 88. Remember the z-score is equal to the data value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So the data value of 70 has a z-score of approximately negative 1.3, the data value of 75 has a z-score of negative 0.5, and the data value of 88 has a z-score of approximately 1.7. So now we can rewrite the probabilities using z-scores rather than data values. So the probability that x is less than 70 is approximately the probability that z-score is less than negative 1.3. The probability that x is greater than 70 is approximately equal to the probability the z-score is greater than negative 1.3, and the probability that x is greater than 75 and less than 88 is approximately equal to the probability the z-score is greater than negative 0.5 and less than 1.7. And now we can use the table to determine the probabilities. Looking at part A though, let's first find the data value of 70 on the normal distribution. Notice that 70 is approximately here, and the corresponding z-score is approximately negative 1.3. Because we're looking for the probability that x is less than 70, or z is less than negative 1.3, we are looking for the probability on the left, or the probability that the z-score is less than negative 1.3, or the data value is less than 70, which would be this region here. And notice how this will be the probability to the left. So going to our table, we locate the z-score of negative 1.3, which is here. Notice how the corresponding probability is approximately 9.68%, and this percent is the percent to the left, or probability to the left, and therefore this is the probability we are looking for. So the probability that x is less than 70, or that the z-score is less than negative 1.3 is approximately 9.68%, which again is a probability the data value or z-score would be in this region here. Notice for part b, we're asked to find the probability that x is greater than 70, or that the z-score is greater than negative 1.3. So now we're looking for the probability to the right or the probability the data value or z-score is in this region here. To find the percent or probability more than a z-score, we take 100% and subtract the percent from the table. And that should make sense because the probability to the left is approximately 9.68%, and therefore the probability to the right would have to be 100% minus 9.68% which is 90.32%. So the probability that x is greater than 70, or the z-score is greater than negative 1.3, is approximately 90.32%. And now for the last example, we need to find the probability the z-score is between negative 0.5 and 1.7. To find the percent or probability between two z-scores, we subtract the smaller percent from the larger percent given from the table. So going back to our table, we need to locate the z-scores of negative 0.5 and 1.7. The z-score of negative 0.5 is here. The probability of 30.85 though is a percent to the left and the z-score of 1.7 is here, where the probability to the left is 95.54. To find the probability between the two z-scores, we subtract 30.85% from 
95.54%. So again, we have 95.54% minus 30.85%, which gives us 64.49%. Let's go back to our normal distribution and show why we are subtracting these percentages. The data value of 75 is approximately here, where the z-score is negative 0.5, and the data value of 88 is approximately here, where the z-score is approximately 1.7. And again, we're looking for the probability the data value is between these two data values, or these two z-scores, which would be the probability in this region here. The 95.54% gave us the percent or probability that the data value was less than 88, or the z-score was less than 1.7, which was the probability that the data value or z-score was in this region here, again to the left, and then we subtracted 30.85%, which was the probability that the data value was less than 75, or the z-score was less than negative 0.5, which was the probability the data value or z-score was in this region here, leaving us with the probability of the data value being between 75 and 88, or the z-score being between negative 0.5 and 1.7. I hope you found this helpful.